This happened just afternoon today, right in front of the busy Seminole Post Office on 113th Street North. As investigators determine who was at fault, we have learned more about the victim and how his friends warned him to be careful on his motorcycle. Peter Bernard is on the night beat in Seminole tonight, and you spoke exclusively with a woman who watched all of this unfold, Peter. Yeah, Keith, and that witness watched from her parked car here at the post office. And right in front of her, this is where that SUV and that motorcycle collided. Then that SUV went out of control through this yard and into a house. Yeah, and quickly, the woman creamed out of control. There was no skid mark. She never slammed on her brakes. Stunned God by the spectacle playing out in front of her, former been. certified nurse Peggy Arbanitas jumped to help when the SUV and motorcycle crashed at the post office driveway. As they looked up, I heard a big boom and saw a motorcycle airborne, then saw a... Uh, this like van craning out of control and she smashed into this wood fence. The Honda pilot didn't stop there. Laura Scanlon plowed down several concrete benches, potted plants, almost went into a pool, sideswiped a travel trailer, rammed another fence and crashed into a bedroom. Joni Glass rushed home to find this mess in her yard. I was shaken. I was shaken. I was devastated. Um, just sad that anyone died from this. That I, That's worse. All this stuff can be fixed. Pinellas deputies tell us 22-year-old Brandon Barity died when Scanlon turned left in front of him. Peggy Arvanitas tried to save him despite warnings about leaking gas. So I pulled the handlebars and then drug the motorcycle off the the top of his more mid torso, but he had glassy eyes. Friends left flowers near the crash scene. They tell us the bike was Brandon's baby. And he was proud of it. You know, everyone was happy for him and telling him, you know, be safe, be safe. And he always wore his helmet and, you know, tried to be safe. And it's just an unfortunate event, you know, this happened. But Peggy assured Brandon's friends the crash happened quickly. He felt no pain. Now, the owner of this travel trailer tells me they just got it on Saturday. A friend of Brandon tells me he'd only had that motorcycle for a few months. Witnesses told investigators that he was traveling at a high rate of speed just before this crash. Keith? Very unfortunate. Peter Bernard on the night beat. Thank you.